love this four letter word is the most talk about topic in this world on the positive side love has given us excellent cinema terrific music and glorified literature full of stories of hope and happiness but then on the negative side being rejected or heartbroken is known as one of the worst kind of pain for human beings and has been the cause of some of the most horrifying crimes as oscar wilde write in his letter hearts are meant to be broken but then question arises why do we fall in love to make a family or to have someone to come home to for never eating a meal alone for unlimited sex to have someone share dreams desires medical bills housing loans and a lot more no 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 they make you feel butterflies in the stomach as many points as there are mouths but is there any actual science behind love what is love baby don't hurt me would encourage you to subscribe to our channel for awesome scientific videos if you haven't subscribed yet did you know that romantic love can produce similar symptoms in the brain as having cocaine while it all seems like a matter of thumping heart but who really falls in love heart or the brain what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed it hits hard morty then it slowly fades honestly things that people do for love are quite remarkable love can be scary when you see someone attractive your sympathetic nervous system may have a flight or fight response as it releases adrenaline norepinephrine and cortisol this is what makes your heart race palm sweaty cheeks red and mouth with loss of words when in front of your crush etc it is also what causes butterfly in the stomach as your vagus nerve runs from your brain to your stomach oh and by the way according to scientist falling in love takes just a fifth of second yes it's that quick researchers believe that romantic love can be broken down into three parts lust attraction and attachment and each of these stages are driven by their own unique blend of chemicals in the brain talk about having chemistry with someone so let's talk about the first thing lust stemming from the need to reproduce lust is what get us together the primary chemicals involved in lust are estrogen and testosterone as an increase in them also causes an increase in the sexual desire second part attraction the raging hookup culture has made it quite clear that all lust is not love this is where the factor of attraction comes into play this is euphoric stage of love when skies are colorful every morning your face is stretched in a big fat smile and you are awake for night thinking about each other while well, in this modern technologically developed world texting or talking to one another attraction is driven by adrenaline dopamine and serotonin the happy chemicals that are released by exciting experiences dopamine is the feel good chemical increase in which results in increased motivation to pursue what the brain perceive as a reward a lover's touch a photograph or even just thinking about them can elevate mood some people get so addicted to the dopamine surge the brain gets with new love that they get addicted to keep dating new people serotonin is a chemical that if once get associated with a thing can lead to obsession with that thing when the brain register low level of chemicals so can you make a love potion hmm technically yes is there anything that can block this chemicals so that we can never get attracted to anyone again part 3 attachment after desire and excitement of love comes attachment the hormones released during this stage are responsible for the growth of couples and long term relationships one of the main hormones released during this stage is oxytocin also known as the cuddle hormone it plays a crucial role in our lives it is secreted to strengthen the bond between a mother and baby interestingly it also get secreted when we pet dogs 
socially it helps us to make connection with other people help us feel happy reduce stress and even triggers our protective instincts the hormones promotes generosity and trust decrease fear and even helps us to recover from negative social interaction for example a bad date researchers have found that oxytocin level continues to increase in long lasting relationships and this is how the brain controls our being in love <laughs> So moral of the story if you don't find your love get a cocaine <clears throat>